So to clear this up and make this really smooth, you're gonna scroll down here to the read time and scaling section of the video inspector. And on the read time process, we're gonna change this from project settings to optical flow. And so in the project settings, you can have that already changed by default to use optical flow, flow but for the most part, you're not gonna have that already changed. So change that to optical flow. And then under motion estimation, you want to change that to a speed warp or either faster or better, depending on how fast you want to be able to render. We'll do faster for now. Uh, the better settings will do a little bit better job of blending the, uh, the frames, but it will take a lot longer to render. So let me come and play back this clip now. So now you can tell it is really smooth. It looks like we shot in that frame rate. It slowed down 50% time compared to the clip that we just had uh, brought in. And you can't even tell, there's no jitter. It perfectly blends the hair. I mean, there's tiny little artifacts that you might be able to see uh, if you zoomed in a lot. Like let's go back here and hit play and let me um, kind of zoom in and look right here like around the hair, you can see a little bit of blending and kind of bending the frame. But for the most part, uh, it looks really, really good. And um, yeah, I think that this is a great way to quickly slow down your footage and make it seem smooth and not have the choppy jitter effect.